Aster and Hyperliquid are not direct competitors because they take fundamentally different approaches. Hyperliquid offers assets backed one ratio one, ensuring cryptonative exposure with direct collateralization, while Aster uses a synthetic model that provides stock exposure through perpetual contracts without holding the underlying equities. This makes Aster more about bridging traditional markets into DeFi, whereas Hyperliquid remains focused on fully backed cryptonative assets. Aster's model is similar to other decentralized derivatives platforms. Collateral is posted in crypto, and the perpetual contracts themselves create the synthetic exposure, rather than relying on custody of real stocks or issuing blockchain-native representations of them. Aster offers stock perpetual contracts trading, means trading of Apple, Amazon, Tesla stocks trading. These are synthetic stocks not backed by real stocks itself. It means traders can get exposure to price action without actually holding real stocks. Holding these stocks would not give you dividends or shareholder right of any sort. These are derivatives. They let users get exposure to the price movements of underlying stocks without actual ownership or custody of those stocks. They are synthetic slash perpetual contracts. The user is not holding the actual stock, nor is there native token issuance of the stock itself. There's no indication that they issue wrap tokens representing the underlying equities or that they hold the real shares in custody. It's more like a futures or derivatives exposure. Be part of the alpha branch. Join our prediction game. Comment below which token will perform best next month for your chance to win 10 USDT plus a shout out on 15th each month. Secondly, help us reach 10K subscribers. Comment at alpha underscore branch to 10k soon, like, and share. The most active member will win 100 USDT once we hit 10k.